In this video, I'll show you how to link trades from your broker to one or more cash accounts. Two things to remember before you do this. The first one is to make sure your trades have a source. That is which broker it belongs to. If your trades come into ShareSite via API integration, trade confirmation, or a broker file import, they should have a source. But if you add your trades manually or import them from a generic file, you have to specify the trade source. If you haven't, you can do that by editing the trade. The second thing is you need to have a cash account in your portfolio. You can find the link on how to create a cash account in our help page. To link and sync your broker's buy and sell trades to each cash account, go to the settings and cash accounts. Here you can see a list of brokers. Only brokers that you have assigned at least a trade will show up here. If you, if you don't see your broker, make sure there is a trade source assigned to the trade. Here I use Tiger for my US trades, CMC and Stake for ASX trades. And I have three cash accounts, one in USD and two in AUD to track my cash balance in this account. So what I do is select a cash account for each of these brokers. This cash account for Tiger is in US dollar, so only trades in USD will sink into it. Apply changes. Now go into each cash account, click manage sync trades. You can select a start date or click sync trades to sync all the buy and sell trades since inception linked to the broker into this cash account. Another common scenario is you might use a single brokerage platform to invest in more than one market. So for example, here I invest in both US and ASX stocks through interactive brokers. And I want all the ASX trades to go into the AU cash account and the US ones into the US cash account, just like how it is in my IB account. So to do this, I have to go into settings, cash accounts, and I'll select the AU cash accounts for my interactive brokers. So all the ASX trades will go in there. And then I'll select the IBKR US cash account under the sync unassigned trades and apply changes. And the next thing I'll need to do is to remove the trade source from all of my US trades. The reason is if I don't do that, all of them will get sync into the AU cash account because shares I automatically sync all the AU and non-AU trades when the currency of the cash account matches the portfolio tax residency. So once I've done that, I'll go in and sync those trades. So you can see here the AU trades go into the AU cash accounts. And the US trades go into the US cash accounts. Most of the brokerage platforms in Canada come with a US cash account. So it makes it easy to invest in US stocks. 
This syncing feature works as well. If you use a brokerage platform to invest in both Canadian and US stocks, you can link your Canadian cash account and remove the trade source for all the US trades and have them flow into the US cash account. So to do this, I'll go to settings, cash accounts. So if I use Quest Trade as my broker, I'll select the Quest Trade CAD cash account. So all, all those Canadian trades will flow in there and select Quest Trade USD for the same unassigned trades and apply changes. And the next thing I'll do is go into my US trades to remove the trade source. The reason is if I don't remove the trade source for these US trades, all of them will get synced into the Canadian cash account because ShareSite automatically sync all the trades when the currency of the cash account matches the portfolio tax residency. In this case, the Canadian cash account and the Canadian portfolio. So once I've done that, I'll sync those cash accounts and you can see all the Canadian trades go into the Canadian cash accounts. And the US trades go into the US cash account. 